Hey yo, what is up YouTube? Welcome back to another video. Here today I'm going to be showing you guys how to get DS4 Windows on your PC. Uh, DS4 Windows basically just boosts your PlayStation controller into an Xbox controller so you can play games that only support Xbox controllers like Minecraft, Forza, and so forth. So, let's go ahead and get into it. Go ahead and go to whatever browser you use. I'll be using uh, Microsoft's Edge. Go ahead and go to the search bar, type in DS4 Windows, click enter, go to download, go to the top right, click download, go ahead and go to the left here, click download again, this is the latest version, 3.2.11, might take a second, once it downloads, you can go ahead and, uh, go ahead and go to download, uh, right click, extract all, extract, if you need a video on that, uh, just go ahead and look up how to extract. There'll be videos. Go ahead and go to DS4 Windows. After that extracts, it'll force you into it. Um, now, look for the blue and red controller. This is the application that you will be clicking on. I recommend you drag and drop it down here to the taskbar like this one is. Don't need that one now. But yeah, now you're going to go ahead and double click on it. It'll say you must install this to run the application. Click yes. It'll open up a browser. Um or a tab on whatever browser you're using. Go ahead and click on whatever downloaded. Click install. Yes. Once that's done, you can go ahead and close out of your file explorer. And then you can go ahead and close out of your uh, search engine. Close that. Now, if you drag this down to your taskbar, go ahead and click on it. Yes. Sometimes it'll say you need to allow something. Go ahead and click allow, and yes. Uh, so you're going to go ahead and click on step one. Next, I agree to the license terms and conditions. Uh, install. Finish. So, a few things. Optional, uh, this is step four. This is basically if you're playing a game that can use PlayStation and Xbox controllers, such as Rocket League or Fortnite, games like that. Uh, you will get double inputs, uh, so if you don't want that, go ahead and click on the install high driver and go ahead and get that. Faker input makes it act like a virtual keyboard. Don't I, I've never used it, so I, I'm, I'm not too sure about that, but I wouldn't use it. All right, once you've done that, go ahead and click finished. So uh, you can go ahead and go to settings. So before you get all worried saying, oh, my controller's not popping up, well, you might want to go to settings, device options, Make sure DualSense controller support is on. You can also use Switch Pro and Joy-Con, but I'm just going to be using the DualSense controller. Uh, make sure that is on so it'll notice your controller. Uh, once that is done, you can go ahead and click Start. Go ahead and go to Controllers again. And as you can see, uh, my controller is plugged in right now. But once you plug it in, it should pop that up. If it doesn't, while uh, your controller is uh, plugged in, uh, turn it off and then turn it back on and it should pop up. Now I'll show you around this site a little bit. So the battery here, I don't trust it, but it's nice there. It, it's just there to in case you want to know your battery level, you know. A rough idea. It's not very accurate though. Um, you got profile, so if you want to make a specific game profile for any game, doesn't matter. Uh, you can rename it and set up certain bindings. You can go ahead and click edit. This will let you edit your dead zone and how the sticks work, how the button work. Here's your layout changing so you can make it a little different. Uh, but there's some dead zone control. That's the thing I see people using for or output curve in case you're trying to just play a little differently. Um, but yeah, uh, you have controller reading. So if your left stick up, down, right stick up, down, uh, and then your gyro. Um, just nice to have those there just to see in case you're having bad stick drift or what's what's going on in your game. Maybe it's a game thing or a controller issue or something like that. You have your light bar. You can change the color of your actual uh, light bar and the controller. So if, say if I want it red, I can just drag those down. Or if I want it to be, uh, uh, you know, uh, a teal, a bright teal, uh, I can do that. I'm going to go ahead and make mine uh, purple or pink though. But yeah, uh, flash at 20%. This is basically a battery level thing. Uh, I have it at red, so when it's getting low, if I'm playing and I'm wireless, it'll flash red. Just so I know. Uh, while charging, you can make it do a specific color, or you can make it um, just be a normal color, whatever you have it set to previously. You can do color by battery percentage. Uh, I've, I've done that, but you, it's tons of customization, guys. Tons. 
Um, touchpad, you can turn it off. It is a mouse. Left clicking on the left side of it will work like a left click and a right click, you know. It, it just works like a normal mouse. Uh, I'm, I'm moving it around right now. So, very nice to have when you're doing things. Uh, other. So, if you're trying to emulate it into a DualShock 4 controller, um, you can do that. I, some games you might want to do that in, but most not. But you can see right here it is emulating it to a 360 controller. You can disable it entirely. Uh, here you see the rumble, so if you want your controller to vibrate and just to test it out real quick, you know, you can do that. Here's also some mouse settings if you need it. Uh, I recommend you do this. Idle disconnect. If you're on Bluetooth and you want to save your battery, save 10 minutes. It'll disconnect it. Also, if you are wireless and you want a quicker pulling rate, you can go ahead and change that. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and set it to just probably... Uh, I guess I'll do max, you know, max one millisecond, uh, trying to get the fastest uh, reaction times out of it. But do know, the higher it is, the more battery life you're losing. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, you go ahead and click apply after you do whatever you want to there. Uh, save. Also, if you want to go to settings, high DS4 controller, this will help you. Um, some games like Forza now it has a weird bug to where it doesn't want to work. Go ahead and turn that on and off. Uh, Sometimes it'll work. It might need you to do this. Click yes, uh, if so. I use high DS4 controller. Forza, for some reason, has a weird bug to where it won't let you do uh, the DS4 controller anymore. Uh, on this menu, I also recommend disconnect from Bluetooth when stopping. So if you uh, click stop down here, it'll disconnect it entirely from your PC. Here's how you can make it start, uh, you know, minimized, or when it starts minimized, minimize it right to taskbar. Or just when you close it, uh, X out, it'll minimize it. You can also change this theme a little bit and some icon colors, uh, but yeah, pretty simple stuff. Uh, other than that, if you guys have any questions, please let me know in the comments. I'll try to help you out as best I can, uh, but yeah, that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. Peace.